Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to convert rows into your columns and columns into your rows, vice versa, using VBA code. And here we got the final output. Notice the employee name, employee number, employee name and salary is displaying by default rows to columns. Now when I put columns to rows, see here we got columns to rows, employee number, employee name and salary. When I click rows to column, here it converts to rows to column and columns to rows. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Notice on my excel sheet contains some data, employee number, employee name and salary. Now my aim is I will create one user forum with two radio buttons, option buttons. If a user clicks one radio button contains rows to column and the second radio button option is for the convert to columns to rows, it's vice versa, opposite. So let's create one user forum to this application. To create a user forum, we require the developer menu, click that one, developer, and the developer code, click visual basic. And here we got the visual basic for applications. Now in order to create a user forum, for that we go to insert quick user forum. Here we got the user forum. Now first we'll add, let me put this toolbox aside, first we'll add one list box control. I'm adding this list box control here. Now, my first aim is, I will populate the data, this data, employee number, employee name and salary into this list box. So select the user form first, right click the mouse, go to view code. And here we got the coding part of the user forum. Now we need to add the initialize event, user form underscore initialize event we require. I'm deleting the default event now here list box one dot I'm adding the list is equals to the range method from range a1 column I have three columns so C up to C12 let's add C12 up to C to all dot value. Now we require to add the column also list box one dot column count is equals to three because we have three columns one, two, and three. Three columns I have added. Now we'll check the output, and here we've got the output of this. Uh, employee details from worksheet to the user from list box. Now next condition is we'll add two radio buttons. If a user clicks the radio button one, it converts the rows into columns. And the second radio button will convert columns into rows. So let's do that also. Process user form. We'll add two radio buttons. This is the option button radio button. And uh, option button properties, I'm selecting these two rows to columns. Enter. Control C, Control V. I required one more radio button for the option button two. Now this time I'm adding columns to rows. Columns to rows. Now by default when I run this application, I want to select this rows to column. Whereas rows to column only, first I want to display. Um, close this one, select the user form, right click the mouse, view code. And this one, option button one dot, value is equals to two. Now you check the output. 
So here rows to columns is selected. Now the code for the rows to column, double click the rows to column and adding the same thing. And again go to user forum, convert rows to column, rows to column and paste in the data, this time listbox list I want to convert columns to rows for that application dot transpose the value, let's close this range value after that we require the column count uh, let's add 10 because we have more than 10 records it will display 10, 10 columns you can increase the column size also I am adding 11 depend upon the column sizes or row sizes we need to convert that the column counts that's it let's check the final output and here we got the final output notice the employee name employee number employee name and salary is displaying by default rows to columns now when i click columns to rows see here we got columns to rows employee number employee name and salary when i click rows to column here it converts to rows to column and columns to rows that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to convert or transport rows to columns and columns to rows vice versa in excel we decode using user form thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel if you like this video please do share and subscribe thanks for watching we'll catch you in next video tutorial